with stackable storage and word tiles with stackable storage. digital and hands-on learning. It uses real objects and connects them to abstract concepts. For example, kids learn how to program in the game of coding only by connecting and arranging these physical coding blocks. Here. Where did I get it, guys? Oh, there. Here. The system works mainly because of the reflector. It is attached to the iPad over the front camera like this. Ta-da! The reflector scans the object placed on the table. It turns your iPad into a fun learning device. The Armo package I got includes nine games that would teach you coding, math, drawing, spelling, and even physics. Let's check them out one by one. I'll start with Coding Obby because I already mentioned it and because it's one of my favorite Oddmo uh, games. So you help Obby through different mazes and get him strawberries to eat. You tell Obby what to do using the coding blocks for walking, jumping, grabbing, and more. For example, if you want Obby to go somewhere, you arrange your coding blocks for walking and rotate the arrows to the directions where you want Obby to go. You put numbers beside the blocks to tell Obby the number of steps that he should take in a certain direction. When you're done fixing the codes, you press the screen and watch Obby do the actions that you coded. That's so awesome! There are two other coding games included. Coding them where you can arrange the coding blocks to create music. And Coding Duo, which is the more advanced version of Coding Audi. I still haven't played those two yet because I'm still mapping the basics in Coding Audi. But all three games are great ways to introduce coding to kids. Coding is an important skill that will help kids in today's digital world. Next, we have the drawing games. Let's just move this aside here first. Let's get this. And move this and press the monster. Osmo Monster makes your drawings come to life. Here you will meet Mo, the friendly monster who loves to go on adventures. He will ask you to draw lots of things and your drawings will become part of his adventure. For example, he will ask you to draw a hot air balloon and then he will ride the hot air balloon to go to his next adventure. <laughs> He's dizzy. <laughs> Another drawing app is Masterpiece. It allows you to take a picture of anything, then it converts the picture to simple outlines to help you learn how to draw it. Here, I took a picture of my favorite cartoon character, Fancy Nancy and her best friend, Bree. I also like using this app to make drawings of my loved ones. I just take their picture and the app helps me draw them. What do you 
think of my new masterpiece. It's Fancy Nancy, my favorite cartoon. This app has a lot of stock photos too that can help you study drawing. I like this a lot. Even my mom and dad and me on Donut enjoy using it. Now let's go to numbers. Math isn't the easiest subject to teach a child. But this game turns math into something fun and easy for kids. It takes you to an ocean adventure while teaching you the basics like counting, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. It also includes trivia about different sea animals. So it's not purely math. You also get a bit of science. From math, we go to spelling. The Osmo spelling game is called Words. Kids will learn more than 1,000 words with this game. What I like about it is I can also play it with my family and friends. I usually play it with my dad. Another game I like playing is Tangram because I really love puddles. Physical Tangram pieces are arranged to match on-screen puddles. What I like about it is the difficulty level can be adjusted. The easiest level is where you can see all the color pieces on screen. The most difficult, which I love, is where all the pieces on screen are blacked out. You really have to think how you will arrange the physical pieces to match the picture on screen. Another game is Newton. It's a great way to introduce physics to kids. The goal here is to guide falling balls to the target. You can do this by drawing on the board or by using real objects that you put in front of the screen. All Osmo games are cool and fun, so kids like me won't even realize that they're already learning a lot. It is said that kids learn best through hands-on education. So I like that Osmo is high tech, but still involves hands-on activities. Because of that, Osmo is Lucy approved. The Osmo kits and add-on games are quite costly, but I think they're super worth it. I just wish that Osmo will be available in the country currently Osmo doesn't ship to the Philippines. My mom had to ask someone to buy it from the U.S. There is also no Osmo store in Lazada or Shopee or in any mall. That's it guys. I hope you like my Osmo review and found it useful. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Bye!